Why, hello. Hello, hello, hi. It is me, it is I. Small Talk DD, you're a Heidi on the internet, and I am back with back, you guys. I'm enjoying this right now. This is the stuff I'm having. I don't know how these girls do it, but it's it's tea. It's green rooibos, it's citrus and ginger. And the pack came out. It's almost 1 a.m. that I'm about to record this because it's like, what angle am I taking with this? What chat do I really want to have with the people? Guilty, it's my second cup. Yes, my cup is chipped. You see, my, my old tea bag is still in here. So I'm going to get up for the loo several times, you see. Damn it. Guys, I'm now a tea. I'm like, I'm the granny. I'm going to scorch my tea bag. I'm the granny who can't have, who can't get no sleep unless I have my tea. So hello. Hello, hello. Hi. It is me, it is I, small time Didi Yorahari on the internet. And I'm back. Let's get into it. Promise. Promise. I'm here to talk about promise. If you don't know who promise is, she's, um, is she a lifestyle, a mom, fluencer? She's like a, an African trad wife type kind. But not really. Because when I think trad wife, I think homestead. I think, um, um, I don't know, homeschooling and things like that. And cooking from scratch and tending your own chickens. And, you know, like, you know. But she espouses a lot of so-called traditional ideals in that she will, like, um, twirl for the patriarchy. She'll make excuses for how men behave in the name of her ministry. She feels called to protect um, marriage and black families. That's her entire chat. She has a YouTube channel. She's big on TikTok as well. She has a YouTube channel, but she hid her content or whatever and she's now started it um started everything over and she's using that platform as a reality television smart move promise is winning from the perspective of or she's figuring out or she's figured out how the social media thing works right she managed to amass this very loyal very you know married women who want to justify why they stay in weird situations um with these husbands of theirs instead of just saying i i i i just when we're together our finances make sense and i like saying i'm somebody's wife and i will put up with anything just to be in that situation instead of saying that they'll come up with other stuff other stuff around the things and it's like why why are you doing all of this um but anyway she managed to so it's gonna happen for her i see it happening for her first of all she put in a lot into her her, her reality show she she transferred she transformed her channel into a reality show so if you watch uh birth of stars um or other reality shows like chasing i think they have like a chasing atlanta those kinds of reality shows that are on youtube because they probably would not be able to sell the show on television or they want a lot of control creative control and promises case a win a win a win a win she has a family to protect very young kids to protect a rickety ass marriage to try and like you know weld and keep together by like the grace of god like all the ancestors call hercules and just hold the shit together honey okay she, she it's, it's it's listen it's shaky it's shaky. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How I know it's shaky, I don't know for a fact, right? She's just trying too hard to make it look like it's not shaky. Do you know who's not doing that? The people in my life who are in successful relationships. They aren't working extra hard to make look like, look, it's, it's also, and I'm staying here. I am staying in this bag. Come see, try it. Like they're not doing that. They're just staying there, on account of it's nice over there. You know who's not doing that? Promise. Promise is always like angry, telling us about how. I don't tell you, don't chat. I'll let 
why why are you paranoid about Musadia Dong Chang? Like, first of all, you are telling on yourself. Because promise is all. I'm going to play you guys a clip of why it is I actually turned this thing on. And then we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. All right. So, next, I'm suspecting my friend said, Samaya Pula. Okay, it went on. After going on, that's when I found out. And we were supposed to get married for the first time in 2016. And I called it off. But it was not because of her. Mm. So, when I found out about her, then... My husband said, no, she said she doesn't do, you know, whatever. That's when I saw her, right? you know, we mm. you know, like, we want to do a back pocket on me, shall mm. Then we broke up 2016, then 2017, the whole of 2017, we were not together. Mm. When we broke up, she went back. Mm. She, she dated my husband. Mm. 2017, and then now when I came back, we, we got we were a full year apart. Mm. When we got back together, 2018, January, we spoke, we were like, uh-uh. Uh, my husband told me, for it, no, this person is expecting. Mm. And then he, but we're not sure who the child belongs to. Okay. Because this girl did the very same thing that it actually anymore has been Naturally. Someone else. Oh, so you know yeah, again. Mm. It's her thing. And that's what pisses me off. And that's why I don't want to address her because she knows. That's why I just said on the video on the TikTok. Again, Let her come forward. Yes. And say, promise you didn't want to be She won't because I never done those things. So when we got back together, she was so she expected when my husband was telling me that she's expecting the next hour to be like, oh, what? I can't even know. Next hour, next hour, next hour. 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 Next hour, no, 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 not like no. Remember, when we were supposed to be married in sixteen. So I know she's just like a cherry on top. Yeah, mm. she's part of the story now. Mm. But then, hey, me going back. I uh, know uh, this is my husband. He was, he was supposed to be my husband in sixteen. Mm. And then when we got back together, now you did a number on me again. Mm. And you think that I'm not going to get married to my husband? You are wrong. Mm. You are wrong because now when I, when I met my husband, now she's suddenly a man. Mm. So, so uh, then I remember when we we, we were just going getting back together, we bring back girl. I like to focus like girls. Promises a lot like Noni, which is rather odd because she's big on misgendering Noni. Noni is the coach who's like a, Kev, a Kevin Samuels ripoff. I don't know where she is right now or how her content is doing, but she she trained it for a bit. They hold very special positions in that they I uh, have internalized all manner of rubbish and I don't know with Noni I don't necessarily think she believes some of the stuff she says she just knows it's gonna get a rise out of people and she's on the internet to make bank and she's gonna do it by any means necessary and some people actually like attention like that the currency they're after isn't like money to go purchase something it's the attention promise on the other hand is just seems too bright for me for that okay she tried to be on another show. She let us know a few months ago on her TikTok. I remember coming across. And TikTok hasn't been feeding me her content a lot recently. I don't know what that's about. But I, I'm, I was fine with it. Because so, some of the stuff she peddles is just... It, it, it's like you are peddling some very, very dangerous notions around what women should really be putting up with in order to make their marriage work. And you see it in this episode of her so-called reality show that she's put a lot of money into. Like, the, there's production here. The, the, it's, it's a good watch, okay? It actually is. She's done that, and it's nothing to make like it's a buy-the-buy -buy issue. She's putting a lot into this, and I love a person who can invest in themselves. That's a person who believes in... That person is a banking. She is a betting all the way on herself and good on her. Cause she does make for good television she's controversial enough like noni she has a core audience that and they all I, I, i'll put up a comment here so you guys see what i'm talking about but somebody left a comment because she's got back to trying to reply because this thing just went live now and her people are basically the people that i know i like the lifestyle i have with my husband some of them are honest enough to admit this and I'm not going to have some other woman take me out of this and blah, blah, blah. You guys say this and then you, you think you look nice. That's the part that I feel like some of you don't understand. When we look at you with sad eyes and you're like, you look ashy. I'm not saying promise looks ashy. We're having a broader conversation now. Lomeleji in these situations and it's like you don't look what you think you look like. Nobody's jealous of you. Nobody's trying to pull you out of there because you look like you're having a good time. Which uh, people are probably 
because it's like mm, you, you you it's not looking good it's my must you you do not look good when you end it and you're holding on for dear life in promises case she's peddling all this messaging that this is the way to go and feeling like you know black families and marriage are under attack healthy relationships are not under attack unless you just have a hating ass bitch type friend or friends in your life i don't know of any person who sees their friend happy and they genuinely are friends with that person and they're just trying to tarnish their relationship and break up their marriage whenever you see people questioning something it's something to be questioned but she's such a performer i promise she belongs on a stage like i said she's tried to be on another reality show before and it was about marriage and her husband didn't want to go through with it because i think he felt like or she alluded to the fact that it was going to be too intrusive hence why i say youtube is the perfect platform for her because a control freak like what she comes across as i don't know her and i don't know this to be a character i know the persona she puts out or rather i've consumed enough of the persona she puts out on the internet and she seems like a person who likes to drive and to weave a narrative which is the role of a woman in these kinds of like trad kind of situation uh, uh, situations or relationships right very concerned kimberly's the one who spoke about this and i forgot the writer that she refers to who spoke about how women take charge of the like the narrative building around how we want to present this relationship women are in charge of saying this is what my life looks like hence the title of her show my husband this my husband that right she's constantly broadcasting and trying to put forward an image so that we are she makes sure that we know that this is what the life looks like do you know who doesn't weave stories happy people yeah in my experience i'm not even saying she's unhappy i'm just saying in my experience happy people are too busy being happy to weave stories they within and among cuddles they don't have time to, to to go on tiktok and start narrative building it's no fucking sins in here they too busy being happy in my experience right promise says her husband has two kids uh you guys saw in the clip one, when she initially got with him she met him and he had a one-year-old i personally think men who have children under three and aren't with that mother are disgusting and they are a big fucking red flag to me there's a chance you left that person mid-pregnancy right and we say where i come from that's what we say right you you must see a pregnancy through that's a really vulnerable time in a woman's life or in a person who's able to carry another person inside their bodies however they identify that's a very difficult time in their lives by the time the child is one and you're now dating something is the matter either you're stepping out on that other woman or you abandoned her in this very vulnerable time in her life right while when the baby just got here while she was carrying this baby red flag don't fucking tell me i really like you and then you tell me you're a baby daddy and then you tell me you have a two-year-old bitch how why are you not with the mother also if you're not with the mother why aren't you taking time to heal and work through that relationship you haven't even figured out a co-parenting it's no fucking way i'm not buying it you haven't even figured out a co-parenting situation with this person and you're already looking to get into another relationship with me like how much what, what kind of a bond have you formed with this child you're already a deadbeat to me also i just don't do baby daddies that's my rule i don't do them sorry i'm unfamiliar with that shit like i they used up to me no baby daddies are used goods and we we, we must they know they left over men we gotta check them out i can't do it no not for me right then she says that her husband then went her friend no 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 and also it's all of this my husband my husband he wasn't your husband at the time use your fucking words my then boyfriend okay her then boyfriend then dated her friend but she like again with the narratives and the putting together of stories like little construction girl they're building him hey, telling us that 
putting the onus, putting everything about what's gone on here on this other woman. One thing about women like the, and this is, hey, Yazi, I'm so scared for her. Promise is winning right now. But the only way Promise stays winning is if this man never embarrasses her, which won't fucking happen. And why it won't happen is because she's created like a president. She has made sure that he knows that when he goes wrong, she will come in and make excuses for him. So he knows he doesn't have to behave with her. She's the perfect example from, from again, what she decides to share with us. I don't know this woman, right? But what she's decided to share with us has now led me to believe that she's the woman we talk about when we say they marry the one they know they can like walk all over. They marry the one that's going to stick through the bullshit. They marry the one that they know will, will, that other woman that he got pregnant cheated on him too. He was never going to marry her. Do you know why? He wants good girl promise, spiritual promise, who just wants to build a strong and um, black family and you know no bitch is gonna take her out of this situation that is her man he he can do whatever he wants and these women can come through and do whatever they want but they will not take her she said on her own tiktok guys that she would only leave her husband if he decides that he no longer wants to be with her mm -mm. do you know who the danaya fucking jackson Derek Jackson left her. Least we forget, Derek Jackson left her. She was still in it. After all of that, right? Because again, she had the other thing as well of like being in that Christian fog or I, don't, I even feel bad calling it a Christian fog because is it? I feel like it's, it's a more exaggerated kind of Christianity or like a sect of it that is just, I, I don't know guys, what is that? And then also the trappings, right? The trappings of wealth, the trappings of lifestyle that come with being, you get comfortable, right? And you feel like giving these things up, you're losing. Another person is winning as if you couldn't ever get to a point where you could live the same kind of comfortable life. We have people like this in our lives. And I think that's why we push back the way we do on, on social media. Maybe that's why people feel like if you are married and you are invested and pushing back against this narrative, you have no space here. But that's not true. We've seen how it pans out. We've s <laughs> Guys, it's been slow singing and flower bringing at the end of some of these situations. We've had to shalambote, shalambote. We've had to sing funeral hymns for people. I don't know why. We've had to look at our friends fade, like have the life drained out of them. There's a friend of mine I remember telling her that I was there when you were given to this person and his family. And what he gave back did not match what we gave. The person he returned while you're sitting there feeling like nobody's gonna take you out of this what burning fire of fucking hell because that's what you're in nobody's gonna take me out of here let's get guys there was this one month and i wasn't even a passions girl but i'm pretty sure miguel and Teresa pulled each other out of hell for a month charity miguel charity me the whole for a month one of them was like sliding into like the fires of hell. And that's how I feel. And I may sound dramatic to somebody, but that's a literally how I feel. Like, lomelechi, self, right? Lomelechi in these situations and then self, you start to enter like a hard body, you know, like a hard body chicken. That's what we call it. Like, you start to just... Like, like no amount of moisturizer can fix your situation type thing. Like, leave the fucking user in alone, girl. That's not going to be what fixed this. You need to go. But because she has a, she has a spirit tells you knowledge about her. And somebody asked her in that clip. So, you're then saying you stayed with this woman because... You, or you, you married your husband, Olaya. Which is... Like, you really were like... 
And she's like, no, he, I was always supposed to be his wife. And she thought that I wouldn't marry him just because she was pregnant now. Yeah, girl, because that's a good reason not to marry somebody. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh, uh. So when he dogs you out, again, after you've now done this reality show where you've branded yourself around this. And that's the thing about figuring out the social media game, right? You figure out, I'm going to make like lemonade out of these lemons. People are saying I am weak. I'm a pick me. I'm this. I'm going to take it all the way to the bank. That's why I'm saying she's winning right now because she's like, this is what people are saying about me. I'm going to turn this into a show and I'm going to make AdSense and I'm going to become a mom influencer slash trad wife slash whatever. I'm going to build my little village of dummies and we are going to just like dummy it out together and they are not. But can your mental take it and for how long? And when he eventually dogs you out, and he will, they're built for it, these men. He will because you've created precedent that it's allowed to happen, but also because he's proven that he possesses the capacity to dog you out. So when he dogs you out, can your mental take the strain? Because right now, the economic incentive to continue down this path seems like it's worth it, right? It seems like it will always outweigh whatever gets thrown your way. But will it? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to really review any more of the episodes going forward. I will tune in. I'll watch if there's anything to chat about. I guess I'll chat about it. But congratulations to her, definitely. She's really investing in herself. That is always a beautiful thing. And I I, I, I hope mentally she, she has a support around her that can see her and through this and navigate these somewhat new waters, right? But that's that. Bye, Yala.